At first, I thought I was at the wrong place, even when I was already inside. And so we don't want to have any kind of issues with any kind of contamination. Okay, good. So I just put this on. Yeah. Is this really that agricultural company that we were supposed to visit? So we're going to put on additional guard here,、mm -hmm. and then、uh, this is the hairnet. The hairnet. So、yeah. everyone has to wear hairnet.、Inside. That's correct. Okay, there goes my hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> None of these non-negotiable entry requirements sounds like an agricultural company to me. That's right. The inside of this vertical farm looks more like the inside of a spaceship, but even with two layers of masks, when you actually walk among these growing trays, you can still smell the freshness of the vegetables, which are planted on pieces of cloth. Yes, the roots go underneath, and so the misting is happening underneath the cloth. We're delivering the water and the nutrients in a very targeted way. So basically, the cloth is just for support the plant. Yeah, but you have to see the inside the cloth, and the roots can go down,、yep. and the plants grow up. Yep, that's very smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have patents around that. <laughs> so, as I was still trying to understand this environment where everything seems so futuristic, there are 40 million vegetable plants growing in here, and even faster than those in nature. And by being able to deliver the macro and micronutrients and the water exactly when the plant needs it, we can accelerate the growing process. So for this particular crop, this may take 30 to 45 days to grow in the field. You know, we can grow in 12 to 14 days. While increasing the food production, vertical farming can also reduce energy consumption and land use. We can use up to 95 percent less water versus that field. Agriculture will only become more and more crucial due to the global population growth, which might reach nearly 10 billion by 2050, according to the United Nations. However, agriculture is already one of the major contributors to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. Therefore, how to sustain the growing global population while reducing agriculture's negative impact on climate becomes an urgent question. And since vertical farming could both increase food production and lower agricultural emissions, many hope that this could be the silver bullet that people were hoping for. Investors are passionate about this type of climate slash agriculture solution, and they say that vertical farming market size. Would probably reach close to 16 billion dollars by 2025, almost four times of what it was just two years ago. But some also say that this might not be the solution that many hope for. The downsides really are that、uh, they actually use a lot of energy, which can generate more greenhouse gas emissions,、uh, even if the product is local.、Uh, and they also tend to have you know, pretty significantly higher costs. Uh, there's potential for that equation to be modified going forward. Vertical farming sector is actually really pretty、uh, dynamic in terms of the evolution of the technology, but I would say we're at least five to ten years away from that being sort of a meaningful contribution. I would be suspicious about how green of an investment it is, and maybe this is the way the billionaire investors are thinking. Maybe this is not an economic solution right now. Maybe it's not a great help right now. But eventually, if we don't do anything else about climate change, we're going to reach a place where vertical farming is is necessary. And just trying to build the technology when that time comes is going to be too hard. Back in the lab, we were told that the future of vertical farming technology could help to adapt agriculture to more hostile natural environments or even to space. Well, you just really need to. A new imagination about what agriculture is about, and how we can think about technology innovation to provide some of the solutions that are needed today. Although it still remains a question of how much of a climate solution vertical farming can be, what we're seeing is that even the most traditional activity of human civilization is readapting itself under the changing climate. <laughs>